reaction if you're going to be that thing. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Liz. And it's Re. And in honor of February 15th, which is Valentine's Day, and a lot of people think, oh, couples on, like, restaurant dates and shit. No, it's honestly just about love, like, any kind of love, and that's why we're doing this video. It's not our typical video, like, challenge videos, but, like, we're basically just trying to say what valentine should be celebrated as like a positive you know it's just like what is love to us like we're pretty much stating our opinion because love in general has different uh definitions yeah let's just like get started with the video yeah, before we go like... on a rant yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we generally want to like talk about loving yourself first because honestly loving yourself is the best love there can ever be yes like besides like your partner and your other family you have to learn how to love yourself first before you can love someone else because if you treat yourself like right you know how to treat others the way you actually want to be treated so they can kind of get the message on how mm -hmm. they can treat you mm -hmm. and also i feel like you should be independent and love yourself and then Others will like see that and then be like, well, dang, she's like independent and she knows, or he, or he, it doesn't it's, matter, whatever you more. identify as. You know, over time, like uh, learn how to love learn yourself, to love yourself, build as, yourself up, just be who you are. Cause like once you learn how to love yourself, you can build yourself up with like the people you genuinely love and that are always there for you, and like you can be like a hundred percent you with. Like, mm -hmm. tr like if you're like with someone and you have to pretend to be like, like someone the same things. Not, yeah. Like, so say you're friends with like a cheerleader and they're all peppy, and then you're like, you in general are not as peppy, but like you're like yay and stuff. Like you don't have to be like peppy and like give people the wrong message because mm -hmm. your close friends can be like, well, why am I friends with this person if they're acting something they're not? Yeah. If you're like too afraid or you don't have the courage to be who you are or love yourself because society's telling you, oh, you have to be a certain figure, you have to be a certain weight, you have to be yeah, a certain height, like, you have to be a certain skin tone. Like, no, that, that's no. not true. There's two different types of society. Your society, which is the people you love and generally enjoy. Everyone thinks like, oh my god, I need to get this certain amount of likes, this certain amount of subscribers, or until, like this, you know, like, like certain I need to be, to be a certain weight, I need to be certain famous, anything. like, what the, no, I don't, I'm gonna still make videos, even if 10 people watch it, you know? Like, or it like, doesn't not matter. Not even any, as long as I, yeah, like, as long we as express I, yourself. Yeah, it's like, we're all generally beautiful in our like, own ways. You can't judge and just knock people down. You to learn how to love yourself, you know how to treat people, and you'll notice that. Just don't knock each other down because for the person who they are, like who they love, who they are, don't knock them or down. Or like in general, like yeah. just because they're like, they think that they were born in the wrong body or like they just don't like something, which is like stereotypical. If you're like a different gender or you appreciate who you are and people are just knocking you down because of what you look like or how you act a certain way, that's genuinely not the whole point of the mm -hmm. story. The thing is just to love yourself. And if you're knocking someone down, that means you don't really know how to love yourself. Like, I'm not trying to blame anyone or anything. Mm -hmm. You just don't know how to love yourself because you're knocking people down in their own beautiful ways. You no, know, it seems like we're kind of going off, but on like a different topic, but we're really not because like, you know, like you shouldn't knock people for who they, you know, anything you know like because like that's all related to yeah. love you know because everything i guess relates back to love what we're trying to say is knocking someone down i guess you can say bullying in some certain way it's because you're probably not having the best day i don't want to like mention something that can upset someone mm -hmm. so like so say something is like bothering you and you don't know how to express it or you don't know who to tell moral yeah. of this whole video is to like treat others like differently if that makes sense because that's what society wants us to do they want like us to break down differently in a good way not in like a bad way and also like the whole point of why we're saying is don't you know don't knock anyone down don't be a bully don't be a bitch Ex like pardon oh. my <laughs> pardon my language think about it like i'm not gonna like that one bitchy person that's like oh my god i can't believe he is like going out with a guy like ew like what the fuck like i'm not gonna be friends with you let alone someone's ever gonna be in a relationship with you so like you need to like learn to like i mean like i get it some people have 
different opinions but you shouldn't have to knock someone down and say it like it's a bad thing like leave them alone if that's your opinion keep it to yourself sometimes to like spare other people's feelings with people. so like if you can't handle what someone generally feels and loves and who they think they are like their own certain way you don't like have your you can have your opinion just don't bring it up because probably that person had like a rough has a rough background and you don't know their full story well, like some people i guess that are like together I in, guess, a in a relationship already. and like they think that well what if i'm like in an abusive relationship or like what if i don't really enjoy this relationship or what if i there's or like, you don't feel comfortable or you don't like the relationship itself or you don't end up liking that gender don't go on with it i guess you can say kind of a breakup thing don't like do it over text or anything you should generally tell that person like, depends on the situation if it's like abusive i feel like if, you it, shouldn't. if it's abusive you should like yeah. you need to go to like someone you really trust or like if you're too afraid to like sit, tell an adult or something say it to like a really close friend or a close like something that you think that they'll help you because if you're still in that relationship it's not gonna get any better like people might think oh they'll change they'll change i'll help them change like no you sometimes Some, it, you it can't won't work change out someone it, i'm sure you can't like, change if, someone like, but if like, you've been trying so much and things are not happening that like, you should go to someone that you really trust like try to get the word out because i mean so many people are in really like abusive relationships they don't know what to do being single is is way better if it's like if it's not right for you at all like abusive or not or just you know anyways like it's if you're not like a hundred percent into that relationship i think you shouldn't be in the relationship and if you're afraid to like be it, by yourself like in general that's why you gotta like saying. build up yourself and love yourself but once you have those two then you have like the key to independencies because you know that you'll be okay and that you have people that love you as well as they do or they love you like unconditionally that's like the moral of the story you know, like some things you can't just say in a video or, or you just can't words. say in words because people are too afraid to put their own opinions because they probably think it's a bad opinion and don't like to express that and just know that this is our opinion you can hate it I'm sorry if you don't like it, but we're not doing this to knock people down. We're trying to do this to build people Or up. like, if you dig even more deep on what we're saying, you can see how this is based off mm -hmm. of love in general. Because many people think that love doesn't exist. Moral of the story, I guess, of I guess everything is, is that, that we love you. Valentine's Day isn't about fucking being in a relationship. It's about, it's about love, in, love general. in general. And be with your family. Be with someone who you love. Appreciate the uh, people be with that someone. are there for you. Yes, be with your friends and pretty much love yourself and yeah. build other people up. So, so yeah, I know this is not a typical like challenge video or something, mm -hmm. but if you generally like what we were talking about, leave it in the comments down below. What what should we talk about? Mm -hmm. If there's... we generally feel that we have voices and they need to be heard mm -hmm. so others don't so they can get different opinions and those perspectives of what w everyone thinks of a certain topic mm -hmm. but anyways we sadly have to put this video to one and we can go on a rant for like ever mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyways i hope you guys liked it make sure to give it a like and subscribe um all our social media is down below and dang, that was straight pro promo. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, make sure to comment any topics that you would like us to talk about. And, and we'll see you next Thursday. This Sorry is... we've been inactive. We've been, like, getting distracted lately. And and like, we have know, videos, but we don't want to, like, post shitty videos. I mean, like We, want, I we generally want to be, like, proud of that video and be like, oh my god, this was so amazing. Oh my god. And that's, that's why we need to work on building ourselves up. Oh, oh! See what I did there? Okay, but anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing. day, amazing love Valentine's Day thing, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.